Welcome back to DIY Boom Boxes in Texas. My name is Phil, your host. And Duke would normally be around, but uh, Duke's hiding right now because we're dog sitting. So I have a little chihuahua sitting back here named Bella, and Duke does not like dogs. So Duke's kind of staying away from Bella right now, but she's being a good girl. So anyway, uh, you guys can see I'm working on another project right here. This is a ladies purple ammo box that I'm working on right now. And I've already got some of the holes cut in it and everything. Still got a lot more work to do to it. But y'all see that in another build. But today we're going to talk about amplifiers. Now let me preference this by saying this. I'm only going to scratch the surface when it comes to these amplifier boards. There are tons and tons of options that you can go to to put an amplifier on your project. I'm just going to cover a very small part today, and I'm only going to cover the thing that I have experience with. So I don't want anybody seeing me all kinds of comments saying, well, you didn't cover this, you didn't cover that. I'm going to say that right now. I'm not going to cover a lot of stuff. All I'm going to cover is what I have experience with and what I would rec I recommend. that I And basically showing you what I use in my builds. And you can take it or leave it. I mean, I, I've spent a lot of money on amplifiers. Some have been hits, some have been misses, so I'm trying to help you guys save a little bit of money on your builds. So let me show you what I got going on in here. Let me bring in the camera a little closer. I got this X right here on this thing so I can kind of see what I'm doing here and put everything in the center of the screen. All right, there we go. Okay guys, now if you're not familiar with these, these are called amplifier boards and it's like your conventional amplifier with the metal casing and everything on it, but all that's been stripped away and you basically just get the, the circuit board with the amplifier inside of it and you have a place to plug in your speakers. Now some of them are Bluetooth only, like this particular one that I have right here, I, call, I think it's called a Zima board, I -N, uh, SMA. And then you have some like this one here. It's another Enzima board that actually has Bluetooth built into it. And it also has an input where you can plug in uh, from either a radio or like one of these little FM decoder boards uh, that you see me use all the time. And I'm going to be doing a video on some FM decoder boards soon in the future. I found one that I like to try out and I might do a review on it. So anyway, and then you have some like this droke here that are strictly for hooking up an outside source. Uh, this one doesn't have Bluetooth at all. It has a power input, your speaker outputs, and it's got a quarter inch input. Now you're probably thinking, okay, that's all fine and dandy, but how am I going to hook up my radio to this if I just have wires coming out of it? Like for instance, the amplifier boards. All they have is wires coming out, I mean the uh, FM boards. So what you would do is get a little adapter like this, and it's got the ground. So you use a common ground for both speakers, and it's got a left and a right. And you would run your speaker wires from either your board or your radio into here, and you would plug it in just like that. Now what you would do though, you want to put between here and there is get you a ground loop isolator and what that does is sometimes you might get a little bit of a hum or a buzz in your in your amplifier so you want to use a ground loop isolator and those are only about five or six dollars maybe six or seven dollars total with shipping but it's really a good investment these little adapters i think you can get them two for three or four dollars from different sites i get most of my stuff from amazon so anyway that uh that's how you would hook it up so let's start at the beginning here um, price can sometimes make a big difference, and I'll give you an example here. This uh, Enzima board that I bought, I think I paid probably less than $12 for it. It might have been $8. It's Bluetooth only, so you don't have a lot of options with it. Uh, the main problem I found with this little board is for some reason you get a background buzzing or a humming sound even if you have the volume turned all the way down. 
and these dip switches right here which change the gain the higher that is the worse the buzz is now they're a good sounding amplifier but you get that really annoying hum and buzz in the background and I was not happy with it at all I actually took this out of the project I was working on and you can see it right there I S I N S M A these boards are okay um, I'm not real thrilled about it so be careful when you're buying these if you're paying less than ten dollars for your board um, it may not be the best board out there for you to use now on the opposite end of the spectrum I have this one right here and this is also and this is a elegant board that I ordered now the difference between this one is now this one comes in this nice little crystal case now some of the ones you can buy that are eighteen nineteen dollars you actually have to put the case together yourself it's a little bit of a headache now this one here I, I bought this one because it came in the case already now it was twenty four dollars and it's got the input here for the input or it's got the Bluetooth built in you can use it either way and it comes with nice little magnetic feet which is really good if you're using a metal ammo box if not just squirt you some hot glue on there and uh, that'll work just fine and uh, this one here again I, I was getting the buzz off of it even when I put the ground loop isolator on it and I really was just not happy I'm like man I spent 24 bucks on this darn thing and it did okay now I will say there are some amps that look just like this but again you have to put the case together I believe they're made by in some other, there's another company called Quantum I've been buying a lot. They're $19.99 at Amazon. And the Quantums work really, really good. I don't have one with me right now with a build of a Quantum actually in it because I've pretty much quit using those. But they look almost like this, but you have to put this little crystal case together. Uh, it comes in pieces. It's not that hard. It's a little bit tricky the first time you do it. So I kept this one around as a model, and I hate throwing stuff away. I might be able to use this one day but uh, I'm just really not too happy with them but again if you get the Quantums they're $19.99 they look just like this you put the case together they work really really well and they're a pretty decent amp now let me tell you what I have found this little amplifier here is from a company called Droke D-R-O-K and I tried this out on a recommendation I saw another guy that was using these amps um, again, you got to put it together, but it just comes with two little pieces of plexiglass that you put on there. And it's got an opening here. You can adjust the volume and everything. And on this side, you have your power input, and you also have your speakers as well. And you can also power it from a connector right over here if you have... I'm not sure if that's the right size. Yeah, you could plug in a connector like that to power it as well. And these amps are absolutely fantastic. I mean, they're nice and loud. The, the sound is just crystal clear. The speakers don't pop. When in some of these here, the speakers will pop when you turn them on and off or change songs. Uh, you don't get any kind of speaker pop. Whatsoever. Bella. And I'm really, really happy with this. Again, this one here is cool because it's got the Bluetooth circuit built in. But it also has the input built in. Now, I tend to buy these when I'm just going to be using the Bluetooth. Now these are $17.99 at Amazon. They're 50 watts and they just sound absolutely fantastic. Now they're a little more tricky because you got this flat plexiglass here. So what I've been doing is I've been using Velcro to uh, sticky industrial Velcro just to put on the back here. And that works really, really well. Holds it in place, keeps it from vibrating because the hot glue tends to come off after a little while so that's that one there now I also found this other one by Droke and I believe this one is oh 12 to 14 dollars I'm not hundred percent sure uh, this one's got the game control built into it now this one is input only this one does not have Bluetooth for it and it's got the power input over here your positive or negative and you got your speaker outputs right here and I've used this in another one of my builds that has the FM decoder right here. Matter of fact, I used, uh, I believe I used one of those in my, uh, the box that I just posted, the uh, 
metal ammo box. Now this works absolutely fantastic. Great, great amplifier, great price. Got a huge heat sink on it, as you can see there, to dissipate the heat. Very, very well made. I'm very impressed with these. And again, these are the two amps that I'm going to be using from now on in my projects. Now, I'm sure if I needed more power, I'd get something more powerful, but if you're just putting the four inch speaker. Okay, everybody, I don't know what happened. Well, actually, I do know what happened. I was in the middle of a sentence and the batteries went dead on my camera. So I apologize for that. So we're going to pick up the video here we left off. But basically, I believe I was saying that these amplifiers are fantastic if you want to add just a radio to them and everything. And these are great for Bluetooth or if you want to add a radio either way. Um, these are a few dollars cheaper. And uh, so now the thing is, there is no plastic case that comes with this one. So if you're using a metal ammo box, you really don't want this to ground out. So I suggest what you do is just get you like a little square piece of cardboard. I've done that before and just glue it on the back of here and then put your Velcro on that or glue it to the wall or however you know you decide to mount your box or even even a piece of wood. It's got these little bolts here. You could uh, screw it down to a small piece of two by four and that would work just as well. So anyway guys, uh, thanks for watching. I got a lot of new uh, neat projects coming up right now. And um, like I said, my next video, I'm going to be showing you guys about antennas. Let me see if I can find that antenna that I had right here. I've got some different antenna options that I've been exploring. I got these little antennas right here that work really good. And I've also got this one here that I'm going to show you guys as well, a little plastic antenna. So, anyway, thanks guys for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And thank you for everything, supporting my channel. And we will see you next time. Got new projects coming up real soon. So, have a great day, everybody.